In this equation, we have sulfur plus sodium, and it gives us sodium sulfide. So let's balance the equation. And the first step on an equation like this is to count the atoms up on each side. So we have one sulfur. It's not written there, but that means there's a one. So we have one sulfur, one sodium. On the product side, we have the two here. So we have two sodiums and then one sulfur. So it's not balanced. The sulfurs are the same, but the sodiums, they're different. So we can change the numbers in front. These are called the coefficients to balance the equation. What we can't change are the subscripts. We can't change these numbers afterwards. These numbers, we don't want to change. So let's change the numbers in front. Let's change the coefficient in front of the sodium and put it two. That means we have the one times two. So now we have two sodium atoms and everything's the same on each side. This equation is balanced. We have one sulfur on each side. We have two sodiums on each side. We're done. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for sulfur plus sodium. That gives us sodium sulfide. Thanks for watching.